guys, it's your girl Jasmine Ray, and we are back with another video. Today's gonna be a get ready with me video. I'm in the process of setting my stuff up, but I am wanting to talk to you guys about how to start like a business, like what I did and steps I took to start a business and stuff like that. So yeah, excuse my appearance. I am gonna do my hair. Hence, get ready with me video. So. Okay. Go watch your videos with sister. <laughs> so first thing, I'm just gonna prep my face. I'm gonna use the um, well first I'm gonna use my Urban Decay B6 Priming Spray. And then I'm gonna use the Clinique Hydrating Jelly. Jelly. This is quite. I mean, it's fairly new. <laughs> so I started my business, Sweet Smells of Jasmine, back in 2016, and my business is based off of skincare. Well, bath and body products. So I made lotions, body butters, scrubs, um, and also bars of soap. And I did really, really well. And then we moved to Arizona and majority of my equipment and stuff like that was in storage. So I stopped because I didn't have all my tools and stuff. I'm gonna go in with the Bobbi Brown's face oil. I love this stuff, by the way. Um, let me just press. So yeah. Um. And forgive me if I'm like all over the place, which I will be. So if you're here for it, shoot, keep watching, boo. So yeah, 2016 started the business. Did really, really well. Um, I went to flea markets. Um farmers markets and I did exceptionally well well if I can be honest with you guys starting a business of course as everyone says is really stressful um, and it's hard because you are using your own money out of your pocket to start the business so to buy the products or whatever you are trying to sell things like that I'm gonna go in with the butter mask from Kiehl's to prep my lips. I'm gonna go in with my blur stick from Makeup Revolution. It's pretty good, I like this by the way. So, using your own money to start the business and not making enough product to, well, yeah, enough profit to restore your inventory, or it's quite stressful, you know? So, yeah, so moving to Arizona, did put a lot of things into perspective when it comes to my business. Um, first things first, I'm all over the place, but first things first, um, you have to register your business. And I registered my business with um, LegalZoom. I know that some people say that there are other ways to register your business because all some people say all you really need is just your business license and all that kind of stuff but I didn't want to take any risks you know what I mean so yeah so I was like you know what I'm gonna just do it the right way and just get everything I need to get so I do feel like I could have did it without legal zoom. Like if I could have went to the courthouse, registered my business, you know. I don't know everything. I still don't know everything. I'm in the process of still trying to figure it out. I'm gonna go in with my Urban Decay All Nighter Foundation in 11 point. Hello, lashes. I am gonna use I just got this again. My NYX um, eyebrow gel. This stuff is like legit. This is some good stuff. But uh, I feel like I could have went to the courthouse and gotten it done. But 
I'm glad I did it the way I did it, so it's all good. I'm gonna use my Sephora um, brow filler brush for this pomade. It's, it's very easy to use, by the way, too. So how did, like, who is Jasmine Ray? Jasmine Ray is me. Jasmine is my first name, Ray is my middle name. And I said if I was to have any businesses that I would use my name to brand myself. And that's what I wanted. Jasmine Lorraine. First step is trying to figure out your business name. And that to me that's like the hardest step because I was like, dang, I don't know. Because you want to make sure that it's perfect, you know what I mean? And Sweet Smile yeah. Jasmine is not a name that I was like happy with when I first. When I sorry if y'all gonna y'all gonna hear it, Izzy. She knows I'm filming and she decides to be loud on purpose. I'm just trying to hurry up and finish these brows. These brows ain't going nowhere, baby. Nowhere. Whatever. I ain't trying to perfect them, but yeah. Um. All right foundation like I was saying Urban Decay All Nighter so yeah sweet smells of jasmine I remember when I first did I, like I kept asking Markel like Markel what should my business name be and he was like you'll know you'll know so I'm like, okay. I keep forgetting how a little goes a long way with this foundation. Oh my god. I always do this, but whatever. Then came a few years later my website, Jasmine Beret, which I just put out this year. Um, I wanted it to be almost like a blog or something like that where they can. You know, people can go to it and find everything they need. They have links to my Instagram, links to my YouTube, you know what I mean? Things like that, as well as my products. So I literally wanted my website to be a one-stop shop. If I'm skipping over a whole bunch of stuff, leave a comment below letting me know. I'll answer you guys in the comment section. But, <clears throat> yeah, and then there's so many different ideas that I always come up with that I want, that I see myself doing. And I'm not going to even lie, I still see myself doing it, that I, even though I haven't done it yet. But I came out with Housewife, my lashes. I got this new Morphe concealer in C425. I usually use my NARS concealer in Walnut. It's like a yellow base concealer. And this one, I thought, is too yellow. So I was like, mm, I don't know, we'll see. So it's my first time using this. But I've heard great results about it. People said that it's full coverage. I do like the applicator. The cons that I have to starting a business is, you know, having to come out with your own money. You know, you get discouraged when you don't see your stuff selling. But the hardest thing is marketing and advertising that's something that I'm not strong in and I'm still working on it but you know I'm just doing what I know you know posting on my YouTube on my Instagram you know reddit you know I just got a Vimeo account posted on there you know and then I am a walking billboard. Being your own walking billboard is what helps you. Um, I would do want to come out with a t-shirt line with just like something that everyone can relate to and I want it to be unisex. So I already have it. I already know what I want in the shirt. It's gonna be very simple because I'm all about simplicity. So, I just need to find a good, like, 
person that you know makes good t-shirts and I want the quality of the shirt to be good too you know what I mean I don't want it to be no stiff shirt I do like the jersey material shirts that are a little bit more fitting so I'm gonna use my makeup revolution bake and blot this is in banana deep and I'm super excited about this I just got it I never used it yet I'm gonna use my Morphe R5 brush for it to set it And it's not bad. I hope I don't have any flashbacks. I actually like the way it looks. So I'm gonna bronze up my face. I usually cream contour, but I don't feel like doing that. I'm gonna go in with my bronzer. This is in deep, and it is Bobby Brown Boo. I miss my girls so much. And that's another thing. That's what really motivated me. The people that I've worked with in the cosmetic department was really supportive of me like oh my gosh you know when i came out with my brush cleaners well i been came out with them but when i was finished revamping it they were like the first people that i introduced it to and i gave i gave a lot of my brush cleaners out for free because you know things happen by word of mouth number one so <laughs> You gotta lose money to make money. You gotta lose money to make money. So, I'm like, whatever. I'm going for a soft look today. I'm not going for nothing harsh or extreme. But I am gonna focus on the face. And I don't really have to chisel my nose. I just like to do it for the effect. I was always like, oh, I need to make sure I have everything in order before I put it out. And now I'm just like, I'm just putting it out. You know what I mean? Like my website, it's not like 100% professionally done, but I do research. I watch videos on how to build a website, how to add this to a website, blah, blah, blah. You know what I mean? So, you know, doing your research, you know, Google is for everybody, y'all. Like Google does the damn thing. I'm going to go in with Aruba. This is going to be like my... So... The first thing I put was a bronzing powder was a little bit deep. This is a bronzing powder too, but it gives like a little bit of a luminescence. So I'm just going to pop that right there. This is not my highlight. I'm just using it to add some glow. I don't want to look like matte or anything like that. But yeah, um, just go with it. Put it out. You know what I mean? It may not be perfect in the beginning, but if you keep waiting until it gets perfect, you ain't gonna never put it out. Because what is perfect? What the heck is perfect? I don't know still to this day. I don't know what perfect is. I'm gonna go in with this highlighter right here. This is from CoverGirl. This is their um, Sculpt Expert palette, and this is the Rose Rush palette. I'm gonna use my Bobbi Brown Sheer Powder Brush to apply it indeed this does not play okay it does not play at all promote your product or whatever it is to people who are in the same niche or nick as you that way they are interested because you don't want to like I'm not gonna give my makeup my brush cleaner to a football player what the hell are he gonna do with that by the way, if he had stains in his jersey, he could use my brush cleaner to get it out. I'm just saying, it's a good stain remover. Anyways, I'm going with my golden brown powder from Bobby Brown just to kind of set everywhere else. <coughs> oh my god, I keep looking at my my lashes you guys you've seen me apply these lashes on like my makeup tutorials or makeup looks that I've done but I never really talked about it I was just trying to get the word out and you know I had people from back in Arizona ask me when are you gonna put your lashes out I'm gonna go in with this blush from NARS this is in desire and it's gonna give me a hint of pink a natural pink on my cheeks and you'll be surprised a color like this on dark skin mm. like it just gives me just a little 
pop to my cheeks. I lost a lot of money. I lost a lot of money. I'm trying to start my own business and stuff like that. I mean, that's just how it is. I believe in it. That's the key. As long as you believe in yourself and believe in your business, you know that it will flourish, you will be successful. It only takes one person to believe in it. Why not let it be you? You know? Okay, I'm going to go in with this kind of like this highlighting powder. This is from NARS. It's called Satellite Love. And I'm just going to use this as a color all over my lid. I'm going to press it. I'm going to use that same highlighting powder from CoverGirl. I'm going to take that same color and just kind of pop that. right here on my brow bone and blending it down into the shadow one thing that I don't recommend unless you absolutely have to is get a business loan I have yet to get one I'm not trying to get one I don't want to get one I just I can't I don't want to do that to myself so I'm not. <clears throat> but if you absolutely have to, if you have no money whatsoever to start your business, my first step would be to ask friends and family that believes in you. <coughs> <clears throat> Never go to a negative person. Because I feel like, I don't know, they'll just bring bad luck to your situation. Okay? We ain't got time for that. I'm going to go in with my Urban Decay. 24-7 glide on pencil in zero and kind of tight line a little bit. I'm going to keep saying that. Do your research. Do your research. Oh, look, my brush cleaner right here. Don't mind this one. This is mine, but this is what it looks like. The label. This is the packaging. This is the deluxe size that when you buy two of the eight ounce, you get this free. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And I think when you buy three of the four ounce, I'm going to say you get this free too, so... I don't know, I'm thinking about that, but yeah. Tin packaging looks like this. Like, I barely put a dent in it. And yeah, I've been having this for at least two two months now, and it's still like this. So, that's the deluxe size. I used to sell that for, or this size for $15. But I said, this will be just a freebie when you buy two or more, or three or more, so. Let me get my LA Girl number 202 brush. I'm going to go in that, that same contour color. And I'm going to just contour my eye a little bit. Just to give it a little bit dimension. So now I'm going to go in with my Urban Decay Subversion and Perversion Mascara. I'm going to prime my lashes. Get them ready for my lashes. And I'll show it to you guys why this kind of sets up a little bit. <clears throat> I'm going in with three products. The first product I'm gonna use is this Ombre Lip Duo by NYX. This is in Cookies and Cream. By far the best color lip liner. I, I love that lip liner. So I'm just line my lips. So I'm gonna go in with my Comfort Matte Lipstick in Back Talk from Urban Decay. Next I'm gonna go in with my Urban Decay's Lip Gloss, the Hi-Fi Shine in SPL, which is a really pretty color. So I'm gonna add a little bit of glitter to match my lips. So I'm gonna use the Heavy Metal Liquid Glitter Eyeliner in Pyro, and then I'm gonna use this um, glitter mixture called Fairy Dust. This is by Beauty Creations. So I'm gonna use that. I am going to focus that underneath my eyes and I'm going to use it as a highlight for my inner corner. Alright, and now <coughs> for what we all have been waiting for, my lashes. I'll show them to you guys like I said already before, but that's them right here. I absolutely love these lashes, like bold looks natural looks like this is bomb these are like everyday lashes to me if you're like that person that has to have lashes on these are the ones boo have 25 plus uses on these lashes 
I can't even recall how many times I used it. My favorite glue is the dual glue. It's the purple writing. This is the quick set strip lash adhesive. My girl Etrona put me on game to these lash. Well, this glue has like the spatula type applicator. And I'm just gonna rub some of that on there. What I love about this band is that it's not super thick. Like, the band is not super thick. It's still comfortable. It's lightweight on my lid. Super lightweight. So I place it in the middle like that. I'm gonna get something to kind of fan my eye. I got some glue on my skin, but it's all good. <clears throat> Fan it a little bit, and then that's what I'm gonna start putting everything down. Yes, honey. Oh, I got some glue stuck to me. All right, let me do my other lash. Mm. Super pretty. I'm going to be getting close-ups too so you guys can see a little bit better. Excuse my lashes because I use these so many times. I need to clean the band. So if y'all see previous makeup on it, don't mind it, okay? So I hope you like this video. I hope you didn't mind me ranting and just randomly talking about things that was all out of order. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button and that bell right on the side of it to be notified whenever I upload a new video. Make sure you guys go ahead and check out my website at jasminelory.com. Get your hands on one of these solid brush cleaners. If you are a makeup artist or if you just do your makeup and your brushes are dirty, boom. This is a must have. It lasts three times longer than all the other competing solid makeup brush companies. I'm so excited I can't contain myself, but I was gonna take my hair down, but I don't feel like it, so. Yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Until the next one.